How's it going everyone? I bought a Xiaomi Amazfit Verge Lite two weeks ago during Lazada's September 9th sale for around 4,200 Philippine pesos or 81 US dollars. For those of you who don't know, Lazada is one of the largest Southeast Asian online retailers. It arrived last week and after using it for a week, these are my thoughts about it. It doesn't feel cheap despite being cheap. It's thick though with three C's. The bezel isn't disturbingly thick like other cheap China smartwatches. It's the case height that's thick. Despite being chunky, it's very lightweight. It's as chunky as my 30th anniversary G-Shock but feels lighter. Like all smart devices of 2019, you need an app to make the gadget run. I downloaded the MiFit app from the Google Play Store and it installed and paired smoothly. This watch's main focus is fitness and not really being a smartwatch. It just so happens to have basic smartwatch features like syncing phone notifications and music controls. I don't care much about fitness, I just want a cheap and reliable smartwatch that can sync phone notifications. There's a few watch faces to choose from. It can find your lost phone if it's within Bluetooth range, maybe when it's near you but hidden underneath a blanket or the bottom of a duffel bag. The watch isn't internet connected though, so if your phone is out of Bluetooth range, it won't find it. You can choose the length of time its screen stays on. It can show you the weather. It syncs this with its home app. It doesn't grab the data online on its own. From the watch face, swiping from the right to left displays the pedometer. Swiping from the top to bottom shows you watch shortcuts. Flashlight, brightness setting, do not disturb, battery saver mode, and lock unlock. If you lock it, you click the button on the upper right of the watch to unlock it so others can't be fiddling with the contents and settings of your watch. The watch is GPS and accurately tracks the paths you took while walking or biking and even displays it after the fact. Yes, I made myself walk for 30 minutes just to test this, even if I bought this to have a watch that can do notifications, not really for fitness. It tracks these different activities. It's got a heart rate sensor that you activate either from the menu, and you get to the menu by swiping from the bottom upwards while in the main watch face, or from swiping from the left side of the watch screen to the right. I don't really know how accurate this is. It's so cheap, I won't consider this a medical grade heart rate reader. This is a toy in that regard. Don't rely on this for readings if you have a medical condition. You can choose which app notifications you want to push to the watch. It can do some basic music controls like previous, next track, and even volume controls. It recognizes Spotify, not just the default music app. Sweet. The sleep tracking is okay if you've been wearing your watch the entire time before and after sleeping. Like my first day, it was fairly accurate. But I noticed if I don't wear the watch for a couple of hours before I sleep and I take it off immediately upon waking up, it still thinks I'm wearing the watch. And since it relies on the accelerometer moving about to detect wakefulness, it thinks I'm still asleep. It auto-detects sleep when the watch hasn't been moving for a while. So if you don't wear the watch for a couple of hours before your bedtime, it thinks you already fell asleep then. Like today, it thought I was asleep till 11.25 a.m., but I got up around 8.30 a.m. It should have a feature like my old smartwatch, crappy as that was, to manually trigger and end sleep if you so choose. And that watch has fairly accurate readings too for sleep within the time frame you manually activated and deactivated it. I made a video of this supposed Swiss-branded Micronos smartwatch last year. 
Unfortunately, the band loop broke two months ago and its battery has been getting very bad. I even bought a strap keeper to keep it from falling off. I'll link to the video below. This Amazfit Verge Lite looks sturdier and the band is replaceable. The Pink Micronas watch also has a replaceable band, but since it's from an unknown company, only they sell their own replacement bands at the highway robbery prices. Xiaomi is a brand with a thriving third-party accessory market. I'm not worried about replacing its band should it come apart in a couple of years. I like that when the watch is disconnected from the phone for an extended period of time, when you bring the watch close, it reconnects again flawlessly. This has not been the case with some other cheaper Bluetooth accessories, watches and earphones for example that I've used. I haven't had to manually reconnect yet after a long period of disconnection in the week I've used this. One thing though, you cannot reply to messages with this watch, not even canned replies you set on the app. That's something that this crappy, cheap pink smartwatch I showed you earlier could. It notifies you of incoming calls, but since this is the light version of The Verge, it doesn't come with a microphone, so you cannot take calls on your wrist, only silence or hang up the call. You'll need to set permissions in the app for this, but it's self-explanatory with the on-screen prompts. It doesn't have an always-on display, but the lift-to-wake detection is pretty good. Xiaomi is advertising this as having a 20-day battery life. It seems like it may be true. I used it heavily and it's been vibrating with every notification and it's only at 69% now after a week. Well, I hope you found this video informative. Thanks so much for watching. Please thumb up this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.